Good morning. This is Mission Control Houston bringing you live coverage this morning of the launch of the Russian Progress 74 cargo spacecraft, delivering almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies to the International Space Station. Back in Baikonur, the skies are partly cloudy and the temperatures are around 33 degrees Fahrenheit. The 2.1A booster was fully fueled several hours ago, and all of the propellants are being replenished now as we are in the final minutes of the countdown that will lead to a launch at 3.34 and 11 seconds a.m. Central Time, which will be 2.34 and 11 seconds p.m. at the launch site in Baikonur. Now approaching 30 seconds till launch, the Soyuz rocket is now on internal power, and we have auto sequence start. And the first umbilical tower has separated from the booster. And the launch command has been issued. The second umbilical tower has now separated. Engine command issued. Engines are up to flight speed. And liftoff. Liftoff of the 74th Progress resupply vehicle now on its way to deliver 2.7 tons of cargo to the International Space Station. Everything reported nominal so far. The structures are nominal. Fifty seconds into flight, crews are reporting good first stage performance. A minute and 15 seconds into flight, the Soyuz booster is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Everything is operating nominally. Good structural parameters reported at the launch site. Standing by now for first stage separation. Good structural parameters still reported. First stage separation is confirmed. The four strap-on boosters have completed their job and dropped away at 29 miles in altitude. Second stage engine up and burning. This will be about two minutes and 39 seconds of a second, second stage performance. And confirmation of launch shroud jettison. The rocket's altitude now about 49 miles high, traveling at a speed of about 5,203 miles per hour. And second stage separation is confirmed. The third stage engine is up and running, everything looking good, now traveling just over 9,500 miles per hour and 100 miles in altitude. Now at the five minute mark into flight. Third stage separation confirmed. And getting reports now that the solar arrays and antennas have deployed.